this. And people will say, preacher, pray for me. And we, with a good tip, try to pray for them. And sometimes we forget them sometimes. I mean, we've got to admit that tonight. But can I tell you, you have somebody on your side that sits in the heavenlies. And he is praying for you. But I have prayed for you. That when you look in the book of Revelation, you see the golden altar. You see an incense of smoke that is rising up from this altar. And revelations will record that it is the prayers of the saints. I came to encourage somebody tonight that the last prayer that you prayed, it didn't just go up to a ceiling and fall to the ground, but your high priest took it up into the heavenly realm. That ought to excite somebody tonight to understand and know that your high priest took the last thing that you prayed about and you prayed in faith about, and he took it up to the heavenly realm. Probably, but there are tassels on the bottom of this garment. They're supposed to be 
grace. Pomegranate is a fruit. There ought to be some fruit with your salvation. There ought to be some fruit with your salvation. My God, there ought to be some evidence that you're saved. I mentioned it before when I preached on sanctification that when you get saved and when you get sanctified, there is a change. Disciples' feet as a symbol of his servanthood. 